most of us have a, uh, a dysfunctional, if not toxic relationship with money, right? And for some reason, we believe that we can show up in our relationship with money with this hot and cold energy, that push and pull, and money's somehow going to show up, you know, with affection, with love, consideration, and service, right? We believe we can say things like, oh, money doesn't matter, right? I don't care about money. Money is kind of evil, you know? We want to put it to the back burner. Like, just imagine doing that in any of your intimate relationships, in familiar relationships, in your romantic relationship, etc. Imagine showing up and saying to the individual, you know what? You don't really matter that much. Now, unless that individual has some sort of trauma, unresolved oftentimes, that they are living their life off of, they're not going to put up with that. And fortunately or unfortunately, money knows who he or she is. They know their boundaries. They know what they're willing to put up with and what they're not. They know what attracts them and what repels them. And for us, we need to get ourselves congruent with that energy dynamic. We need to get in line with that. We think that chasing works. Chasing does not work. In the same way in relationships, chasing will only repel. It's the same thing as rejecting it will not work. Rejecting will also keep it away. Instead, we need to begin to cultivate and develop a healthy, functional relationship with money, which means no longer playing the victim when it comes to money, no longer villainizing money or even those who have it, because all that does is, at least at the subconscious level, is it repels it away from you. If you constantly tell yourself that those who have money are X, Y, and Z, they're evil, they're bad, they're this and that... Best believe that you're going to be repelling money from you continuously. And if you tell yourself this lie, I don't care about money, you're fooling yourself. Because in more cases than not, you're probably chasing it. You probably wake up each morning or most mornings or evenings and you leave the comfort of your home. You leave behind the ones that you love most and you instead choose to be in a place that you do not want to be with people you do not like to get a little bit of money. So when we can be honest with ourselves in this dynamic, when we can have a true transparent relationship with money, right? And that might start off with, you know, I'm scared, I'm afraid, I don't think I have enough of you, I don't think you want. It can start off in that place, right? This sounds crazy to some, but for y'all who are tapped in and you get it, you just get it, right? We truly have to shift the relationship in the very same way with any other relationship. We have to heal those wounds in order for us to step into abundance. It is our birthright. However, we're not entitled to it. That's the difference. Entitlement means I want what's yours. Yours must be mine. Birthright means you already have the potential. You have it within you to attract everything that you would desire and even more so. But it all starts off with shifting that relationship, getting out of that dysfunctional and toxic relationship with money. Sips one.